Oh man, that's good. Yeah, that's a good sized fish right there. It's two and a half pounder. Right off that dirty jigs, pitching jig. And welcome back to Scarborough Fishing. That's the dirty jigs, pitching jig. That zoom speed crawl. In my favorite color. You look at it. Dirty Jigs Pitching Jig and Super Matt Brown, that speed crawl and green pumpkin purple flake. First one up of the day, pitching up and through here. That's a good two and a half pounder. Thank you, baby. Guys, I want to talk to you about three baits that you can use this summer to go up shallow and will help you get bites. These have helped me this summer and these have worked great. And so, first thing I want to talk about is, of course, one of my favorite, the jig. The jig works absolutely amazing. Pitch up through there. I have two retrieves during the summer. One is a two part where you bump, 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 real easy, real slight, just bump, bump, bump. The second part of that one is the bump, bump, bump hard. Bump, bump, bump hard. And I'll get this jig where it's just going bump, bump, bump. It'll take off. Just take off. And that'll really and that will really get them to strike, get those reaction strikes. The other retrieve that I use is just a straight up, just bump real quick, reel down, bump real quick, reel down, make sure it gets down to the bottom. My favorite combo is the Dirty Jigs Pitching Jig. This is super matte brown and half ounce. This is like an Arky style that will just about do it all. It's not great at any particular thing. It's not great at going through rocks, not great at going through um, debris. It's not great at going over top of um, trees but it will do it all. And that's the reason why I choose this, this pitching jig. My favorite trailer to throw on there is the Zoom Super Speed Crawl. This thing has a lot of kick to it. It'll help slow it down on the fall. Works really great. That's the reason why I choose this in the Super Matte Brown, and this is the Green Pumpkin Purple Flake. This, this is absolutely amazing. This Green Pumpkin Purple Flake works great by Zoom. And so that's my choice of jigs to use this spring or this summer to help you catch bites in the shallow. The second one is a simple Texas rig. Half ounce of half ounce worm weight with a three aught hook with a brush hog. Brush hogs work great this time of year. But be careful when you're rigging it because there is a correct and an incorrect way of rigging these. And if you notice, these two little flaps on the side, one's more open than the other. So when you go over top of your finger one way, you can see how it opens up. You go flip it directly over, you'll see how it wants to close. You want this thing to open up. It gives it more of a presentation underwater, especially when you're coming over debris. Now we're using the brush hog, I just, I just pull it. Steady pull, stop and wait. Steady pull, stop and wait. Because I want this to go over what type of, any type of debris that's up under there. These little double legs will kick. Those little arms will help go over top of debris. And the little flaps give it a great presentation. Brush hog, and this is in green pumpkin. Pumpkin's always great this time of year. Works amazing. Now the third one's a little different. Third one mainly has to do with rocks. Not particularly with going shallow but it can be used shallow and this has to do with um, a z crawl by zoom i know i'm throwing out a lot of zoom baits but they work but this thing works great over top of rock when you put it on the side of a wobble I this thing quite a bit and I, right now i got a, a watermelon red flake any type of green will work with this because it's moving so fast it's pitched out there there's there's really no cadence to it you're just pulling it along and it's going dun 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 on all kinds of rocks. Gets huge um, reactions from it. This is where I caught that five pounder. And this wobble head is just free moving. I do like to put my plastic up against that, that wobble head. All the way up against it. That's, that's what I like to do. That way when it hits, it moves that bait. Sometimes you can Texas rig it, uh, text pose it. Sometimes you can't. Um, I really don't because the Z-Crawls have a little section inside of there. Other baits you can use to this is the Rage Crawl. You can also use of any 
really any type of fairly long bait that has a lot of kick to it. That's the main thing that you're looking for is a lot of kick. And, and it just works great on rock piles. It's the main thing that I use that wobble head on on rock piles. And I use a fairly long rod. Um, this one has a lot of parabolic to it, which is, is fine by me. Uh, this is a 7.3 medium heavy um, Daiwa Aired X. This thing has has you know quite a bit. It goes down maybe a third of, down the down the down the rod tip before it actually hits the plank. Um, everything that I use is a 50 pound suffix 832 um, braid with a liter a fluorocarbon liter. Uh, I really like. Sunline Assassin. If I'm doing something like this wobble head or a jig, I use 17 or 20. And when it comes to um, uh, the brush hog, I use uh, a 10 to 12, depending. I'll use 10 if I'm using like a quarter ounce. I'll use uh, 12 pound, I'm using a half ounce. Generally, I use a half ounce. I also like to put a glass bead behind there for a little bit of a click and put a bobber stop this far in front of that bait. That way, when it hits something, it has that little real quick to it. Uh, I, personal preference, I feel like it gets better bites. Other than that, I got one more special bait for you. I know what I said three, I want to say four just to just get it going real quick, but it's a net now. I know everybody says, you know, Ned Rig works, Ned Rig works, Ned Rig works, but it does. A Ned Rig will get you bites. I've switched over to this is the um, eighth ounce saber tooth. You can see where I was throwing it earlier, you got all kinds of dirty. From uh, Monster Bay, the, the Z-Man and Drew's Carl. It does look like a bait fish that's sitting there on the bottom. And the reason why I like this Ned Rig hook is because it's it's weedless. And that's what I was having a problem before. And I've been using it, I'm having a little bit of success off of it. I need to keep using it some more. I generally like it. Uh, I have it on a light, this is a little crappie pole that I found. Um, Duckett's Crappie Slayer. This is a light, six foot light. The reason why I use such a short rod for this is for better accuracy where, where I'm going. It doesn't throw it out very far, but it generally goes pretty accurate. Where I want to pitch it, I can sit there and pitch it, sling it there, toss it over, and it works pretty good for, for what I use it for. If I want something to really bomb out, I'll, I'll use a, a medium light but I'll use like a seven foot, a seven two medium light. If I really need to bomb something out there, that's like an eighth ounce or a 10th ounce, quarter ounce. But this is a, an eighth ounce. And like I said, I use a short rod. That way I can really pinpoint where I need to pitch this thing. Um, the way that I retrieve, it's one of two. I either hold it there, pull, stop, pull, stop, and just give it a minute. Uh, another one's the hop, let it fall. Let it fall. It, it really depends upon your, your presentation. Um, I got a Pacific gun. If I say it right, I don't even know if I say it right. This is um, this is given to me by my father. This is a great little spinning rod or spinning reel. Um, it has the forward and backward action to it. Gear ratio is a 5.2 to 1, I believe. All right, now I get eight pound test on there. Um, generally, I have this thing pretty loose. I have my drag pretty loose when I'm storing it. That way, when I get back to it, my pole's not bent over. It doesn't cause any fraction, um, stress fraction, or stress or fraction, um, stress marks on the rod. That way, when I go to set the hook, it's not going to snap on me like I had my old rod do. Um, I do like this rod. This is a fairly nice rod. So that's another tip for you: is when you go to store your your spin rods, set the drag down. That way, when something grabs it. It just pulls out the line and it doesn't actually pull pull your pole because I would much rather have to deal with have to untangle my line like that than have to deal with stress factors in my rod when I go to pull. So that's my I guess four baits for this summer going shallow that I believe will help you. This is what I've been using. This has been working great for me, but I believe this will help you. So always remember, have fun, be safe. Catch a big one for me.